This is Holly. She's a pretty special boat because she belongs to Billy, for those who know Billy who works with us here. He's been living on board for the last two years, so when I say she's been looked after and loved, I can say that with absolute sincerity, not that I don't normally. Anyway, she they've changed their boat, so she's up for sale. She's 43 feet long. She's a traditional stern, Mike Haywood, built in 1992. Still works 1265. She had a survey on her when Billy bought her, January 2020. That's available in the office for viewings. She was last blacked in July just this year, 2022. Last serviced in June 2021. Has been done regularly every 150 to 200 hours. Nice glazed cratch board there. Gas bottles are in the forward locker there, 213 kilos. The well deck is four feet long. Nice table there. Nice and light with that glazed cratch board in the front. The water tank's under the decks here. Stainless steel, estimated 600 litres. Nice glazed leaded front doors. Really lovely this boat. In we go. Saloon first, 10 feet 10 inches long. The sailing, uh, ceiling and the cabin size are Farrell and Ball painted, James White. And the floor is carpet and bedroom and this herringbone laminate in here, which is brand new, actually done last week. Two-seater sofa in here, room for a sofa bed if you wanted one. Storage under these steps. Uh, stoves here, it's a salamander hobbit. There's no central heating on board. I don't think you really need one in this size boat with a solid fuel stove. I was 50 feet and never needed it, but there could be a back boiler put on that stove if you wanted to install central heating. Lovely sage green. That farron ball paint above the gunnels has got a, a green hue to it as well, so it all works very well. The galley, five feet long. The fridge is a 12 volt shoreline. That was new in 2020. There was an ice box in there as well. Some shells under there. The cooker's over here. It's a Vanette 5000 oven grill and four burner gas hob. Lovely tiles behind the cooker there. It's all just been renovated, the kitchen. It's all very presentable. Under the sink, plenty of storage. A drawer for your cutlery and a cupboard underneath that. And there's the view down through the saloon. The worktops are in here, a marble effect laminate by the way. A uh, vinyl, rather. Vinyl laminate. <laughs> Come on, James. Put yourself together. Now, this bathroom's lovely. Look at that shower. Very good size. There's tiled surround. This has all been done in 2021. Lovely mirror. Nice countertop ceramic basin there. The loo is a composting loo. There's a spare Thetford Porter potty under the bed as well. The bathroom is 7 feet 10 inches long, so it's good space in here, actually. Really nice, I love it. Nicely done. And then the bedroom's in the rear cabin. It's a fixed double, king size, extended, six foot three by five feet with gas struts for easy access to under the bed. The bed and mattress were new in 2021. Useful storage shelves at the foot of the bed. Decent sized windows on this boat actually, so it's all quite nice and light. There's the extension, and that's the gas strut lifting up arrangement. So it's super easy access under there. Very practical. Lighting's all LED on the boat, head height is Six foot six, so that's pretty generous. Then through this door, there's a cat flap there. That's where Nugget used to come in and go out. The cat. 
into the engine room. The engine's a Mitsubishi um, FMK4. The solar power on board, that's the controller. You've got 500 watts of solar with a, the Victron charger. That was all brand new in August 2020. The inverter is a Victron 1600 watt inverter charger. That was brand new in May 2021. There is a galvanic isolator. Here's the engine, regularly serviced as I pointed out. The alternator is a 70 amp alternator. That was new in June 2020. So as the time they've had on the boat the last two years, they've done an awful lot on her and spent quite a bit as well, I should add. And there's the view from the helm. The cabin roof, by the way, was repainted in 2021. And the gunnels, the tunnel bands, the bow and the gas locker were repainted this year in 2022. So she's been really well looked after. Not mentioned hot water. The hot water is heated by the engine and there is an immersion heater fitted when on the landline. Lovely bathroom, look at that. Very stylish. Batteries, uh, three domestics, 110 amp hours each. They were brand new in August 2020. And there is a Victron Smart battery monitor that was new at the same time. So there we go, a really, really sweet, cosy home, holiday boat, whatever you're looking for, really. So that's Holly. For further photographs, fully downloadable coloured brochure and the prize, go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk.